we have a problem, a massive problem of wastewater. On an average, the city generates around 20,000 million liters of wastewater every day. This water pollutes our rivers, our lakes, and open grounds. This is a big problem. According to the recent studies conducted by the United Nations, over 80% of wastewater worldwide is not collected or treated and urban areas are the main source of pollution. And 90% of the wastewater flows untreated into rivers, lakes and highly productive coastal zones, threatening health, food security and access to safe drinking water. Wastewater problem adversely affects both habitats and living beings living in those habitats. We know it's a big problem. Then why aren't the institutions and governments opting in for wastewater treatment? It is very costly. It is very energy intensive. It requires skilled labor. requires rigorous operation and maintenance. Does that mean there is no solution? Well, there is. The solution is simple yet efficient, non-mechanized, low engineering intensive, easy to operate and maintain. The solution is d -words. Decentralized wastewater treatment system. It's a technology inspired from nature. It is most eco-efficient wastewater treatment system. DWATS is a technology which promotes principles of conservation of natural resources for conservation of environment. It is achieved by using methods that uses natural physical principles combined with biological activities of microorganisms which grow naturally in wastewater. Now let us understand how DWOTS process works. The first stage is the settler tank. Here the contaminants are retained by flotation and sedimentation which happens through natural separation of heavy particles. The heavy particles sink down and lighter particles float. Second stage is baffle tank reactor. In these tanks an anaerobic treatment takes place based on metabolism of specialized bacteria which will transform the organic pollutant into bacterial meth. During this process, the fresh influent is mixed with an active sludge blanket deposit of microorganism occurring naturally at the bottom of the chambers. During this progression, the accumulated sludge is gradually reduced. At this stage, average BOD reduction is about 75%. Next comes the anaerobic filter. Wastewater is distributed through a series of distribution channels which regulate equal distribution of wastewater flow. Inside the chamber, the pipes direct water stream between the chamber from top to bottom several times in a row. The chambers are constructed in a series to digest remaining degradable substances with the help of a filter material which provides breathing or carrier place for bacteria, allowing larger contact surface for wastewater during the passage. At the end of this treatment, about 90% of original pollution load is removed.
Since the system works in a close environment and does not come in contact with oxygen, the effluent will still smell. In planted gravel filter, the treatment acts through combined effect of filter materials such as pebbles, stones and plants. The wastewater travels through gravel where it is reoxygenated through plant roots. The outcome water is free from odor. Treated water can be used for agriculture, construction, groundwater recharge, toilet flushing, etc. Confirming standards of treatment. Biogas produced in this process can be tapped and used with design modifications. See the difference in the quality of water before and after DWATS treatment. DWATS can be applied at schools and colleges real estate industry, hotels, agro-industry, factories, municipal sludge treatment plants, hospitals and many more. Here are some of our DWATS projects. A little bit about us. Here are our contact details.